There's a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin of many poor girls Lord, me, I know that I'm one My mother was a tailor. She sewed my new blue jeans. My father was a gambling man down in New Orleans. It's a mature goal. Oh, <laughs> it's a sound of mature dead house down in the morning. They call the rising sun. Officially starting uh, big game rifle season. Brenda actually took an antelope yesterday and filled a tag and we're off on a mule deer hunt. The first of several that I'll get to do this season. Going to look to fill our Wyoming general tag here in a beautiful area of Wyoming. So what do you think babe? Kind of excited. What are we doing today? Country. We get to hike up five miles and have some memorable time. Yeah we're gonna set up spike camp and just uh, kind of go in there and hunt a few hard days at the beginning just long hard days and spike it out and uh just experience the backcountry got some rain later in the week so we're gonna spend at least a few days probably camping at the beginning and we'll we're just gonna kind of play it by ear and see what we can turn up it's gonna be a lot of glassing it's gonna be a very yeah glass intensive trip of um looking for a lot of bucks what kind of buck are you looking for Brent? well one that you say is big enough mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we'll see who shoots first and how far it is. And I'm shooting a 65300 uh, with the 129 hammers. What are you shooting? I'm shooting a 65 RPM, 130 Shirocco's, and I've got a can on the end of it that's really helped my shot this uh, um, last couple weeks. So yeah. excited! Yeah, she shot mm -hmm. an antelope yesterday, one shot. So we know she's she's dialed in. Dialed so, in. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Ready for adventure. Mm -hmm.
just made it to camp <clears throat> a little over four miles in absolutely breathtaking we're gonna try to get about an hour and a half of glassing in tonight and then come back and set up camp probably in the dark but as we'll give it as much go as we can but we'll buy water buy good glassing so saw a ton of dough on the way in no bucks yet but we're gonna go glass it up I don't even know, I can't count how many elk there are, but in with the elk there's one deer that's behind this tree. And he hasn't come back out yet. But yeah, the, the elk are multiplying on that hillside. Hopefully that deer will do the same thing. Oh yeah, there's some more right here. Do you see him now? Nope. He I think he's he was right in that little pathway between Okay. The big group of trees. Yeah. That okay. little green, like little yeah. mm -hmm. green spot. Mm -hmm. We're just glassing over here. We're the sun's about to kind of set behind this ridge. We still have a little light across where we're glassing, so that's good. But I think we're more than anything, we kind of figured out where we're at for tomorrow. We got a little bit of a game plan. Know our options at least. So we're on the opposite side. We went way down and climbed way back up, went through a river, some rain. Now we're gonna be able to glass back to where we were and uh, and over the other direction. So glassing for days, see what we can find. But it's mid-afternoon, might have to find them bedded up. Okay, we got a buck in the spotter. Got a little look that he could be a good buck, but he's behind the trees here. All, all deep forks on his right. His back left um, is not as good. His right is two great forks on his right. He's a four by four. And his left front is good. His left weak is a little weak, or his left rear is a little weak. Golly. Give me, give me some direction where he Okay, look, Luke, this, this uh, closest dead tree, not the tallest one, yeah. but the closest, yeah. go right to that tip. Yeah. That's in my, the Got right. It. Got him. Okay. Oh man, he's in thick stuff. Usually. Range him, what is he? Okay, 491. Wait, what? Really? Yeah, all the way to the other side is like 518. I would guess he was six. 
Oh. Um, Adam, you want to get your spotter trained? I didn't yeah. see a get wit or so height. Yeah, footage. but somebody's got to follow him here. I'll follow him. Okay, he's walking up left. I can see him from behind. He's pretty covered. So the buck slipped one on us right when we were about ready to shoot. Went in some trees, and then we thought for sure it would pop out the other side. So it either bedded there or escaped. And we're not sure. Um, so we're going to hang tight. We're waiting for the buck to come out from the trees, lined up on the spot. Oh, I see him. Hold on. He's at a bad angle, and there's a there's a uh, some green there pine. We go. He's looking at us, the one on the left, the one in the trees. Okay. And he's angled. Okay. You can't see that front left fork yet, Luke. Have you? No. It's it, it's obstructed. Yes. It seems like a larger frame, though, does it, it not? It does. He's, he's an older yeah. buck, I would think. The one in the trees. The one, the one in the trees. In the trees. Not to be confused with the one in the log. Oh my gosh, my eyes. I fatigue. Go 8 o'clock. Not very far. I got them both in the scope right now. Okay, so he's laid down right by the butt of that tree. Okay, His I see him. His butt is on the tree, yep, and he's facing him. to the right. Now I have to start all the way from scratch because I just hit it with my bill. Sorry, babe. Uh, okay, I see. Oh, nailed it! Oh, perfect shot, Wait, where is he? Left or right? Can you give me a landmark? Just, just follow it right. Follow it right from the same spot. One shot at 560 yards. <laughs> yeah, really good job. Brenda! Awesome. Oh my gosh. What that was awesome. a day. You were stressing. <laughs> was it stressing? I get nervous when my Brenda, family shoots. Brenda, really, really good shot. Thanks. Like, he's, he went down and has not moved. Oh. I think you had to heart shot him. Okay. Well, good, because I couldn't find him again. Oh my gosh, Brenda. Get right here, babe. Come here. I have lost my hair thing again. How many hair things do I have? She cares about your hair thing. She lost her hair gosh. thing. So, two hard full days of hunting. We saw a bunch of bucks today, oh. on and off all day. And this is the biggest buck we've seen. Nice. <laughs> good Did job. you see the hit? Yeah. Okay, where was, is he? I want to see him. money, Brenda. Brenda. Oh, oh, I wouldn't have known if it was like a fork. I wouldn't know. <laughs> You're such a dork. That's <laughs> so when you said, what oh are you looking gosh. for? I'm like, I don't know. You have to tell me it's a good deer. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's an Brenda. outstanding Brenda, deer. It's a, it's a good deer. Good. 560 yards. If he's mad, then it must be. Oh my gosh. He's thick. There he is. That's a that's good representation of a mature Wyoming buck. That's what people go after. 
right there what Brenda took. Look at that. Um, I'm really fortunate every year for Adam to let me come on one of his hunts. Um, and he always picks the hard ones, which is the way I like it. Um, because at the end of the season, I want to know that we did something hard together and then we got to celebrate together. Mm -hmm. So this is a great buck to do that with. And we've been out here in the back country for a few days and sleeping hard and um, hiking hard. And uh, we always look back in these times and just treasure the, the fight to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're better because of it. Um, so uh, thanks for bringing mm -hmm. me along. The other one walked out behind him, but I can't see him. And it's not a great bedded shot right now. I can't see his front shoulder. Um, we got two big mature bucks uh, out there a ways. We're taking a, looking at them right now. One's in velvet still, actually. I shot a velvet buck last year. Um, so, trying to get a look at him. See uh, which one could be a shooter here. Do you see him? Yeah. The front forks on both sides that are solid. From um, the bedded one or walking? Bedded. Can't see the walking now. Okay. He, the walking one's behind him and I can't see him. Other ridge, gap. Three forks. I think he just walked up because the other one did. I think he just bedded in the last two minutes. Because I've looked at this spot like 10 times. I mean, it's, it's right where you should be looking. He appears to be a pretty good deer. He's a, yeah. <laughs> he is the hard horn. Yes, yeah, for sure. For sure, definitely hard horn. Yeah. No, he's, I'd shoot him. He's not going to make the 30 inch wide club. <laughs> no, he's, he's still a great deer. All right, um, we just found those two bucks, came out bedded at 800 yards. Um, we see the hard horn one, big mature heavy horn buck, um, made the decision that I'd like to shoot that buck, but we got to kind of figure out how, bed in a little tough spot, into the sun, pretty good distance, so we're going to strategize now. He's like scratching his back. It's a little poke out there, but Adam feels secure, and uh, we got two um, spotting scopes on him, so we'll see what happens. Hold on. I got less steady when I... <laughs> Normal. <clears throat> Doggone it. Should've just done it when I was practicing. Ready? Yep. Mm-hmm. He's up, he's going left, he's running. Both are running. Oh, right, right. To the left of where you shot him, he's sitting right he there. like a hit. Totally lost. Right where he just, was before, just, go to the left. 10 yards left. 
Yeah. He's, he's, he's facing outside. right, exact same elevation in the clearing. Okay. That was under. Right back where he was. Under? That last one was under. Where's he's he at? Right. It's behind a tree right now. Well, just watch the footage. Good thing having a film crew around is you can replay and be able to um, watch your hit. It looked perfect, actually. Um, so we'll see. Um, shooting the 65300 with the hammer, um, the backcountry TI again that I've been shooting all summer and coming really familiar with. And a lot of you may know I've been shooting a lot of stuff with 65300, and it's for stuff like this, cross canyon stuff, long range stuff. Um, I don't you know necessarily everybody's got their own thinking on long-range hunting but i'll tell you what um what my grandpa did is is um was all around speed and so for scenarios like this the wind will or the bullet will buck the wind better you know i think this is a classic scenario of having a good high-speed cartridge in an out west hunt i'm saying this but i haven't recovered the buck so more to come <laughs> There is a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin of many poor girl Lord me, I know that I'm one My mother was a tailor She sold my new blue jeans My father was a gambling man Down in New Orleans Here he is, beautiful buck. Uh, man, I'm so stoked, what a trip. Look at the length of that beam right there. He's just, he's an old buck. You can tell by looking at his head, and looking at his horns. He's, uh, he's the type of backcountry mule deer, high country mule deer that you, you look for. That's why I come out here every year, so. We've been seeing tons of elk, and I love hunting elk. But it's, and I love hunting animal, we hunting animal this week, but there's something so, challenging and rewarding about finding these ghosts up here in the hills and just glassing and you got to battle discouragement and you're glassing and you have to be patient and there's something addicting about it when you go tag a buck like this that you mm -hmm. you go uh like it makes you want to come back the next year <laughs> <laughs> even though this morning getting up out of the tent i was like i want to go home uh, but we've had a team mac and luke both running cameras both uh, good friends whether it be team members that came to be a part of this first mule deer hunt of the year um, and uh, we slated the whole week and didn't come in pre-scout and got these you know I served on the mule deer foundation board for a while and Luke's on the board now actually and um, it's still you know so important I think to help continue to do all the conservation efforts you know their migration corridors their different habitat stuff fencing projects there's just so many different things so if you're not a member of Mule Deer Foundation, check them out. Uh, big supporters of them and what they're doing, because um, uh, it's cool to see that there's these kind of animals still living up here in the high country of Wyoming. Well, tell my baby sister not to do what I have done But shun that house down in New Orleans They call the rising sun
There is a house in New Orleans They call the rising sun And it's been the ruin of many poor girl Lord me, I know that I'm one Lord me, I know I'm one.